Welcome, and from is a Xiaomi Mi 9, and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. And as you can see, the phone in front of me is already locked, and to bypass it, we'll either have to provide the pattern or the Google account. But assuming we don't know any of that, we can go back to the screen how we need to connect to network. So right here. And instead of choosing a network, we're gonna tap on add a network. And then an SSID, just type whatever. It doesn't really matter which type as long as there are letters. And then hold your finger on them to select it. And you have a couple options. You can uh, search, copy, cut, and uh, then you have this, which I think it's share. Yep. And uh, then from here, instead of tapping, you're gonna hold the Gmail icon. So hold it and it'll take you to the settings of it. And now all we want to do is just go to the notifications. From here, go into app settings, then tap on uh, that's up here and then help and feedback. And then tap on here to search. And we're gonna type in Morse. All right, let's use Morse code, select it and you will see a video. So just tap on it to load it and you will get a clock icon right here. Now, once you tap on it, it will take you to the browser. Now you will probably get a little notification here. Just confirm it. And uh, yeah, from here, what we want to do is tap on the search field and then navigate into hard reset that info. Like so. And then from the website, you want to tap here to see the categories and then select download. And in a download field, we'll search for Android 8. So let me just close the ad. I guess I can't, whatever. Okay, so Android 8. And then search for it. And so right here, FRP bypass, and then just tap on download. Then scroll down again. And once more, tap on download. Allow, so you can actually download it and then tap on okay. And from here, it will automatically try to install it, but because the browser doesn't have permission to install apps from unknown sources, we'll have to grant it to it. So go into settings and then allow from this source, and then just go back. And now we can select install. Let's go. Now we just tap on open. And from here, we'll first go with the Google Account Manager APK install, and then select for version 6.0. And once more, go into settings to gain to grant the access, and go back and install. And this one you don't want to open, you just want to go back. And from here, go into the bypass FRP and then select browser sign in. Tap on the dots in the top right corner, browser sign in. Okay. And then sign in with your desired Google account. So I'm just going to use mine. Like so. Let's go next. And then put in the password for it. So I'm gonna do that off the screen. And then tap on sign in. And it will go back to the app. And basically we're done. All we need to do now is just reboot the device. So hold park here and then select reboot. And once it's back on, we should be able to pro basically bypass the uh, Google Google verification. And all we then we will need to do is just go into the settings and perform one last time a reset of the device to basically remove any kind of leftover from the previous account.
as you can see there was the account that we used so we didn't need to confirm anything actually i don't want to set it up skip no thanks And as you can see, we're in the home screen. So now the last thing we want to do is just go into the settings, scroll all the way down, and let's find the additional settings, I believe. Let's see. Back up and reset right here. And then erase all data, factory reset, and then all files on this phone, or right, let's just stop here. And wait the 10 seconds before we can actually tap on next. Yeah, now once more. And now, once the process is finished, you can just set up your device as you like, and there won't be any kind of previous account on the phone anymore. So, the one that we've used now or the previous one will be completely gone and the phone will be freshly basically reset without any kind of protection. Okay, now I'm gonna again go to the setup fairly quickly but the first thing you'll probably see is the fact that I will be able to skip the network connection, just use United States, skip, skip, Give it a moment to load all the apps and basically once it's finished we'll be done in a home screen and the process will be fully finished and the phone should be now fully unlocked. So yeah there it is. So the device is now fully unlocked and ready to be used and that is how you would bypass the google verification screen on the xiaomi mi 9 and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching. Thank you.